sooner than later, I feel like I will get a famous award because of TikTok. They say that I don't look 32 at all. Next! Preview. I'm Camille Ka, and as you all know, I've also joined the TikTok bandwagon. I would have never expected myself to be on the platform, but quarantine and boredom made me do it, and there's no turning back. I now love the app. I feel like TikTok has shown another side of me, my comedic chops, and I feel like medyo na discover na nila yung acting pro ko. Sooner than later, I feel like I will get a famous award because of TikTok. Surprisingly, a lot of people compliment my skin on TikTok and I, I do a lot of close-ups there. So I am so flattered that I keep getting those types of comments and they say that I don't look 32 at all. Next! <laughs> so yeah, I've really, really been loving TikTok. It's a very happy online platform. And if you guys want to learn more about TikTok and you also want to improve your TikTok skills, then make sure to stay because I am about to share with you guys my favorite tips and tricks and also my creative process when it comes to creating my TikTok videos. So tip number one is to brainstorm. I am not always creative, I am not always inspired, so it really helps when I scroll through TikTok and I check what are the latest trends right now, what are the Gen Z really into. I also like to save videos or sounds that I feel like I could also do for my audience. And then if there are some tricky transitions, I make sure to look at some tutorials. And the next thing I do is already prepare, prepare for my look. Speaking of which, we go to tip number two, which is to prep your look. So I prep the outfits that I'm gonna wear. I usually try to match it with the sound. Fashion always goes hand in hand with beauty and skincare and makeup. And a lot of people actually notice it on my TikTok. Like they always say, oh my god, your skin looks glowing. What highlight do you use? You really have to be consistent with your skincare routine. That's the secret. It's not the makeup. It's not the best foundation. It's really having a good base to start with. So you need to be using products that complement your skin type and also answer all your skincare needs. My personal regimen, I'm currently using a lot of Kiehl's products. I love Kiehl's because its products are super duper gentle and also they're perfect for a lot of different skin types. And so I want to show you guys a rundown of some of the Kiehl's products that I use. First off, I make sure to wash my face with the Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. So it's suitable for normal to oily skin types and I really feel that it's so gentle to my skin. It's able to take away all the impurities but still I don't feel like my skin gets dry. With this face wash, it feels super duper gentle yet clean. And then I use the Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. I love this because it's got no alcohol, so there really are zero harsh ingredients in this product. So now that I've prepped my face with the toner, I am ready to put on my serums. First off, I put my Vital Skin Strengthening Serum. I love this because it really addresses the fine lines and wrinkles, which I am already feeling because again, I am already 32. I feel like it really makes my skin feel really really supple. So the VSSS is kind of like my pre-serum and now we're on to my main serum and this is the Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution Serum. I've been using this serum for a really long time because my sister actually introduced it to me. It corrects your dark spots and evens out your skin tone and I don't have a perfect skin tone. I do get occasional breakout and I also have freckles and dark spots so I feel like this really targets those areas of concern. And then I move on to my daily reviving concentrate and I feel like this is really truly my weapon especially when my skin rather is super tired. I feel like this really saves my skin and makes me look like I'm glowing even if I only had a few hours of sleep. It's rich in antioxidants and also it smells amazing. And then I use my Ultra Facial Oil-Free Gel Cream. Now this is sort of like my moisturizer and I love that it's oil-free. I am so into oil-free moisturizers. Because it's a gel, it feels really refreshing and cooling to your face, which I love. I feel like it wakes me up. And then I finally finish off with my sunscreen, which is the Ultra Light Daily UV Defense 
aqua gel. So I used to hate putting sunscreen on my face because it always feels so greasy and heavy. And I all, I'm so scared they would give me breakouts. But with this one, it's super duper lightweight and it feels thin on my face. But yet it's super effective. It helps protect your skin against harmful UV rays and it also refines your pores. It makes you look like you're poreless. And with all that skincare, I don't really need to put much. I just focus more on my eyes and then lipstick and I'm ready to go. And I focus more on my clothes next. Then tip number three, make sure you have a good light source. So for this day, I didn't have a good um, source of daylight because it was so gloomy. So out comes my ring light and also my studio lights or my softbox. So these lights are my holy grail when it comes to shooting any sort of video content. Tip number four, edit like a pro. For this particular one, I filmed it on my native video app on my phone and then I just used InShot. So if I don't film my footage on TikTok, which is always the case, but if I don't, for the few times that I don't, I use TikTok to just copy the clips and to sync the music and make sure that everything's all set up by the time that I upload on TikTok. I don't really use any filters. It's straight from my video camera and then onto InShot and then upload on TikTok. I'm realizing I'm using filters less nowadays because I'm so happy with how my skin looks. So hashtag no filter. And then finally for my last tip, don't forget to share. Not only on TikTok but share it on all your platforms so that all your friends on all these different platforms can see your new fun TikTok video.